Hello and welcome back to Mel's World, which we already have completed, but we are going to do a time lapse of it. So, enjoy! Thank you. 
Enjoyed it with a bit of nice music and um, yeah, here it is, Mel's World, how it should be, at least 
and the much, as much as I could make of it. I mean, you know, I really wanted to do like a divided theming here, but I'm really lacking options, really. I mean, I tried my best, but what I'm lacking is more ground types, more type of walls and stuff, you know, for the ground and such, but, oh well. We may do at least uh, with what we got, so yeah, let me show you what I built. Oh my god, look at that track, amazing. Oh look, and there are four coasters here and they all go in sync. I mean, look at this. Isn't this just amazing? Now, I mean, you might say like, why are these trains like half empty? Um, these are actually two different type of coasters. This one is inverted and this one is a vertical. But the inverted ones, you know, they are, I can show you the ratings and um, you'll see that the Fatal Implosion has a very high intensity rating and the Solar Eclipse an even higher one. But, I mean, look at that, both are like around the 8, you know, and I think that is pretty amazing. I mean, the track goes even further here with twists, loops, corkscrews, steep drops, I mean this one especially, this one drops, I don't know how much, but we have 35 meters down vertically, and look at that, the rating of this is 8.3, and then the other one, oh that is the other one, wait, yeah this one, and here it's in like 8.67, I mean 8.7 I was about to say, but that would be lying, anyway, I mean these two are just amazing, you know, and they all go off the station in sync, so yeah, that is pretty good, I'd say. I mean, these four coasters really deserve the name Grand Coaster. I mean, when I talk about Grand Coasters, this is the stuff I mean, you know. And uh, yeah, I also quite like the coloring I gave them, you know. I went from like a uh, dark red to a yellow uh, and stuff, and uh, yeah. I mean, look at that go. Isn't that just amazing? So, yeah. Um, well, and then, I mean, other than those two things, I tried to build the corkscrew and the steel stand-up steel coasters, you know, like uh, uh, these two. But, I mean, honestly, I just couldn't find any proper space where I could build those, you know, and hook them up to my uh, path properly. So, yeah, I mean, uh, let me show you around what I did with the scenery, and you can see that especially well from above. I mean, if you look at this, you know, there's like a whole Egyptian section here. Uh, unfortunately, I could not fit in a, a pyramid, but I mean, there's Egyptian walls, you know, Egyptian signs and lights, and everything is Egyptian here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, especially this Wildcat 3, it fits in beautifully with the coloring and stuff. Same for the pre-built one, it doesn't fit in so badly. Now, another cool thing I did was uh, with the mine train coaster, everywhere the mine train coaster touched ground and went underground, I uh, made areas of mine theming. So you can see, you know, that here's the mine train coaster and I um, mine themed it. Same for, like, here, because it goes up and above, you know, this cool section, and same here, because it, you know, it gets up from the station here, so, I think that is pretty awesome, actually, so, yeah, and, um, well, I mean, look at this beauty, I mean, look at the track here, isn't this, I mean, isn't this just freaking amazing, to be honest, I mean, I'd say it is, you know, and the only downtime is, you know, I had to change the, um, timings on this because look at if you see this queue I mean people are walking away from it so I had to fiddle with the settings and that's why you see all these half empty trains but that's no problem for me so yeah and then um, this is like our Martian section as well I mean this whole Grand Coast you know I haven't built anything else in this area but this whole Grand Coast is all in a Martian uh, area you know and then there's this I uh, pretty much combined candy and Roman theming here, but, you know, that's, I mean, I was talking about, you know, how I was missing ground types, especially with this candy uh, thing, you know. I mean, sure, grass looks good, but I wanted more, and I don't have it, so, 
Well, there you have it, um, a lovely little park. Well, little it ain't, but beautiful it has become, most definitely. Look at that, I'm so proud on this. I mean, this is just freaking amazing. So, yeah, and also, I mean, if you look at my cash, I got like 20, well, 2,300 almost gas and 120 grand. That is just amazing. And, uh, I mean, if you look at my rides, I'm actually, I haven't looked at it myself. Oh, look at that, the Infernal Core, that is one of the, uh, that's one of these four, you know, has like, incredibly high rating on this. Same for the Doused Inferno, Fatal, oh man, they are all racking up high, uh, high profits here. Which is good, and I mean, no, I mean, yeah, look at that, I mean, the Doused Inferno is even, uh, rainproof, you see that? I mean, people are even going on it while it's raining. That is just freaking amazing. So yeah, there you have it, Mel's World. I'm really proud of how it turned out. Um, yeah, let's uh, go on to the next scenario. See you then.